Hey there and welcome back. Now, if you're a business owner that wants to take it online, then understanding how e-commerce works is essential. And once you have a good understanding of the market, you can start to build your own store and begin selling online. So in today's video, I'm going to take you through the basics of e-commerce and show you how you can build an online store using Shopify in just a few minutes. Now, I chose Shopify because I found it to be the most versatile platform for all kinds of businesses. And while it doesn't have any email hosting, it's very intuitive and easy to use, which makes it perfect for people who are just starting out. And by the way, if at any point throughout this video, you want to give Shopify a try, you can benefit from a three day free trial, as well as only pay $1 per month for the first three months by clicking the link in the description down below. All right, now let's go over what e-commerce actually is. Well, it refers to the buying and selling of goods and services through the internet. And it has transformed business operations by creating an online platform for transactions and interactions between businesses and customers. Now, the growth of e-commerce have been exceptional in recent years because of its fueled by technology advancements. And as long as the internet becomes increasingly available to more and more people, it'll continue to grow. And this increase in popularity is also because of the many benefits that e-commerce offers over traditional retail. For example, by taking your business online, you can expand your reach to a global audience without being limited by geography, which can increase your market share. Plus, it's way more convenient for people to shop from the comfort of their own homes instead of going to a physical store. Now, this is very beneficial for business owners as well because it eliminates the need for physical stores, which reduces overhead costs like rent, utilities, and staffing. And also online platforms like Shopify collect data on customer behavior and preferences, which can help businesses offer personalized shopping experience and targeted marketing campaigns. This leads to customer loyalty and increase in likelihood of repeat purchases. Okay, now that we have the basic idea of what e-commerce is, let's go over how you could start your online store. First, head over to the Shopify's website where you can sign up for a three day free trial. This trial period allows you to explore all the features and functionalities of the platform without any upfront payment or commitment. Now, during the signup process, you'll need to provide some basic information about your business and create an account. And after that, you can choose a theme for your store and they offer a wide range of free and paid themes to suit different industries and design preferences. And yes, you can customize your theme by modifying elements such as color, fonts, images, and more to create an appealing store that aligns with your brand's image. Now, once you've selected your theme, it's time to add your products to the store. So by using their dashboard, go to the product section and click on add products. And there you have to input different product details such as the title, description, price, and the image, of course. Now you can also organize your products into categories and add variants like size and color. Now to give your customers a smooth shopping experience, you can configure your payment and shipping options. And Shopify also provides its own payment gateway called Shopify Payments, which allows you to accept credit card payments without any additional transaction fee. But you can also integrate third-party payment processors if you'd like to. Next, define your shipping rates and methods based on your product's dimensions, weight, and destination. You can also offer free shipping, flat rates, or real-time carrier calculated shipping options for your customers. All right, so complying with tax regulations is crucial for any e-commerce business, but it can be a complicated process. And that's why Shopify simplifies tax management by providing automatic tax calculations based on the customer's location. And you can access this feature in the settings. Now a custom domain name, adds professionalism and a better brand identity. If you don't already have one, you can purchase a domain through Shopify or connect an existing domain to your store. Now, once you do that to your store, it's almost ready. But before launching your store to the public, I recommend conducting thorough testing to make sure that everything is functioning correctly. For that, you can place a test order, verify payments and shipping processes, and check for any broken links or issues. And once you are satisfied with the functionality and appearance of your store, it's time to launch it. Okay, so now you may be wondering, what does it cost? 
Well, the trial period for Shopify is for three days. After that, you can choose one of the three plans. The basic plan starts at only 29 annually and provides two staff accounts along with basic reporting for your business. Now the advanced plan is more and costs $299 annually. It'll give you access to an advanced reporter builder and 15 staff accounts. Lastly, at $2,000, the plus plan is the most premium option and it provides you with a fully customizable checkout and gives you unlimited staff accounts. Now it also has the lowest transaction fees. So if you have a large business, then this will save you money in the long run as well. Okay, now one of the things that I really like about Shopify is that they accommodate a wide range of products and services, making it suitable for various business models. For instance, sellers can offer physical products as well as digital products such as eBooks and music files, and even offer drop shipping where items are shipped directly from vendors. They also support mobile pop-up shops, retail stores, and local markets, as well as services managed through online booking. Plus, Shopify allows sellers to facilitate subscription boxes, online courses, tutorials, webinars, even tickets, rentals, donations, and fundraisers. So you can sell almost anything on Shopify. But it's important to know here that certain items like alcohol, firearms, and medical devices are prohibited due to legal reasons. All right, now, if you plan on using multiple platforms to sell your products and you can take advantage of Shopify's multi-channel approach, to reach customers across multiple sales channels. So built-in sales channels include the Shopify online store, social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest, and in-person mobile selling through their point of sale system. Plus, you can sell your products on popular marketplaces like Amazon, Walmart, eBay, Etsy to expand your business's reach even further. And if you need any help along the way, they also have excellent customer support that you can have access to at any time because they are available 24-7. The Help Center offers multiple resources, while the active community is great for sharing experiences and seeking advice. So to wrap it up, building an online business has many benefits and platforms like Shopify have made it very easy to create an online store. And while it's not perfect, Shopify does provide one of the best services in the market. So I'd recommend it to anyone who wants an easy way to build a successful business online. And that's it for today. Like and subscribe if you found today's video helpful. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Remember, if you want to check Shopify for yourself, well, you can benefit from a three day free trial as well as only pay $1 per month for the first three months. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.